So I've got my caulking here. And I'm just gonna be as careful as I can. And I don't wanna put too much on here. I'm just gonna kinda dribble it on. You know? Like that. I wanna get enough, but I don't wanna saturate it so much that if I wanna peel this off later on, it's gonna be a big nightmare to do. Okay, so about that much. Have your masking tape ready. And I'm gonna gently put this in a place, and I gotta be careful because I don't wanna get it all over. Got it right in there. I'm gonna gently push it up in here. tape here and hold it into place. Once that dries, I can pull the masking tape up. And that's all I'm going to do. There, now I'm going to just continue doing that, but have any if I if I nail this then I've got the nail holes that I have to caulk up plus if I pull it out later I'm gonna have nails heads going into here so if you're gonna do it permanently yeah you could do that but this is even if you're gonna do it permanently this is actually a better way to do it then you don't have any nails to worry about you don't have to worry about uh, marking up your floor when you're putting the nails in with your with your hammer because you got to get down there kind of low and you might have a tendency to split this or maybe the nail bands now remember, if you do put nails in it, you have to nail it into the baseboard, not the floor. Because as you remember, this is a free floating floor. It, and if this expands this direction, it can't go up against the wall if you've got these nails in here, okay? And uh, so this whole floor has to slide back and forth underneath this quarter round. So, and that's, that's why we're installing this quarter round, because we've got that gap in there. We didn't want to cut our floor just tied up to the baseboard and call it good, because then you don't have that gap for this to, for this to expand. This type of flooring will expand both directions. It will go this way and this way. It's just the nature of it. And so that's why in the directions you'll read 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths of an inch gap all around your walls, okay? So that's why I've got a three quarter inch, this might even be five eighths uh, quarter round, but you gotta have something fat enough to cover up that three eighths gap. That actually worked out pretty good. This was pre-finished and it's almost the same color as the baseboard. You know, if I stand back and look, I can hardly tell the difference. It might be just a shade lighter, which I think it is, but not enough for it to matter. Now, like I said, if your baseboard is a different color or if it's uh, um, not close at all, and if you gotta paint this, paint this first with a couple coats of paint, then after it's all dry, then put it, then cut it, and be careful with it, put it up, glue it up there like this, and it'll be all nicely pre-finished like that. You know, it doesn't take very long to put some caulking on the back side of this trim, this quarter round, and put it on there. And what I'm seeing here too, is because I put the little dabs on there, if I look straight down, I can see where the dabs are. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. So if I stand here, you know, after this dries, I can pull the masking tape off. If I stand straight down and look at it, I'll see white here, white there, white there, uh, on the back side where the caulking is. So, you know, after I pull that off, if that bothers me, I can put a thin bead of caulking on top of here. I know I told you this, this might be uh, installed so that if I want to 
pull it off later, I can if I want to pull the floor up. And if I do that, then I got a little thin little bead of caulking there that I've got to clean out to, which it's probably it's probably going to be fine. You know, for me to clean that if I decide to put that. You know, it it's always nice to caulk this when you get done, and uh, it just finishes it off because when you have white on white like this, you can always see the crack. The crack is always going to show up black. You know, and uh, it just doesn't it just doesn't look finished on your project. So think about that and um, decide which way you're going to install this.